Hello everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and today I'm going to be trading a Forex trading account to a million dollars over the next couple of hours in front of your very eyes. Now this video has three parts. There's the introduction part where there's a bit of a description of what I'm going to be doing. Then there's the actual trading that you will see on a live basis as we go through it. And then at the end, there's the conclusion and an analysis of what just happened. It's very important that you watch all three parts of this particular video. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you find it interesting, please share it with your friends. We have over 470 videos published on YouTube at this stage. Now to create $1 million in a couple of hours takes a lot of coordination of a number of items that have to work together to create this unique situation. Please pay particular attention to what happens in this video to see the true magic and skill involved in creating a million dollars. So unfortunately in this introduction part I'm going to go into a few technicalities just to make sure that everybody understands what we're going to be doing. Because we're going to be trading pretty rapidly we're going to be using a trading robot. Now this robot has been programmed to sell at the top of turning points and to buy at the bottom of turning point. This is an exceptional EA because it can do those, can identify those turning points on all time frames, which makes it quite an exceptional EA. It can be used for scalping as well as swing trading. Again, some more information. It basically uses some grid concepts. Now we have over 26 grid trading YouTube videos published. So please use this link to find the grid videos and to view them if you're interested in this particular technique of trading. The EA also uses channel trading and there are 14 published videos on YouTube which you can look at in respect of ch channel trading. There's also quite a nice video course on channel trading on Udemy. Now a few years ago we published a course which showed how to trade $2,500 to $1.4 million in 32 days. Now many aspects of the money management has been built into this particular EA. Please use this link to get more information about that particular course. In a nutshell, this EA uses basic trading techniques in a very creative way there's really no rocket science involved. Because we have to make a million in a hurry, I'm going to use the scalping mode of this EA. It can, however, be used on a number of time frames. By the way, this is not an expert Forex EA. It's been written and created by a client who has used many of the concepts used in our EAs and training to create this particular EA. Now, if you want more information about this EA, Pause the video right now and use this link that will be displayed on your screen to join our mailing list. Now, the other aspect that we need to do this is a broker, a broker account. Now, this is a special broker account. Firstly, the broker must allow EAs to be traded. It must allow scalping. It, it must have reliable live accounts that mirror demo accounts. For this exercise, it has to have fixed spreads and it must have a price feed that allows the type of scalping that we're going to be doing today. Full details of all the trades done today will be available on an FX Blue analysis account. A link to this account will be available in the video and also the description of the video. Right, so now that we've got a bit of the technical side out the way, let's get in and trade. Okay, let's start trading. On your screen you can see a setup for MT4. Uh, we have four currencies loaded with the EA on it. Uh, the time now is just after the Frankfurt financial opening and we're about to trade. So, <clears throat> so all that's required is for me to activate the auto trading button on MT4. So these currencies have been selected on the basis that they're good for this particular trading uh, technique. You can see it's a mixture of, of currencies. 
when the robot starts trading, the, depending on whether there are any current setups, it might start trading slowly or it might start trading pretty quickly. I'm not quite sure what the current setups are. Uh, it does not trade continuously for all the currencies. It waits for the perfect setup and then trades. So I'm going to, without further ado, I'm going to actually just activate trading. There we are. We have uh, four smiley faces going. The balance is currently 5,000 USD. So let's see how the trading goes. And the Canadian dollar has opened its first trade. There we are. You can see the prices move pretty quickly on this price feed, this particular price feed. And let's just see what happens. Strangely enough, no other deals have been opened on the other currencies all right so we've got another deal that's opened that's on the euro franc and that is a buy so we've got two buys on the euro franc and on the canadian dollars and out goes the uh, franc deal the euro franc and out goes the canadian there's our first two successful trades for the day so this is the way trading will progress it might become pretty boring i'll just leave this to go on for a while the markets haven't really created enough volatility for uh, trading to uh, be on a continuous basis but you can see the deals actually go in and out pretty quickly and uh, the other thing about this ea it will increase lots as the trading goes on so it started with four lots per trade and it will most probably increase that over time as it becomes more and more successful what it also will do is if it comes if it has a couple of negative trades it will reduce the lot sizing so it's, a, it's got uh, the lot sizing intelligence built into it there's our next transaction the euro yen and let's see how that one goes it's also a buy the EA tends to trade against the trend and there we are we've got another successful deal three successful deals already watching it is is pretty boring so uh, we know we'll I'll leave it on for another five minutes and let's see what happens but it is a quite a it's got a quite a good success rate as, as, as you can see so far all, all of them have been positive let's see if the the lot sizing hasn't increased uh, strangely enough it's gone down but it actually monitors each currency separately so it will do those kind of things the other thing that i'm going to be doing is i'm not going to be interfering with oh look at those are all positive trades that are just coming in all the time so i'm not going to be interfering with these trades now you can see the cad had a lot started with a lot size of four has now gone up to four one so it is increasing quite nicely the euro yen started with 2.8 it's now up to 2.9 so that's where a lot of the increase comes from it increasing the lots as we carry on let's see are there any open oh there's a lot of open trades going right now um let's just have a look at what happens a lot of margin being taken but uh, we've got enough in our account to handle that kind of margin quite comfortably especially after the gains that have been made more transactions being added more transactions being added to the po uh, positive list now we've got uh, positive transactions in most of the currencies that we're trading uh, the pound uh, the euro pound the euro yen the euro cad the euro franc all all have generated positive trades obviously this will generate negative trades every now and then okay so we've made seven hundred dollars on our quest towards a million let's see how this goes as you can see the time for the first deal was 13 minutes past three for this particular broker it is actually 13 minutes past the frankfurt open and uh, that's the way i think of it and we'll have a look at how long it takes to make a million as you can see the money is just piling in the lot sizing is increasing all the time and although this might be a slow start it it looks like it could move quite quickly once it gets going remember trading has only been going for about five minutes so we've already made a almost 20 percent return on our money 
got a long way to go to get to a million, but you won't believe how fast that happens when the lot sizing starts jumping. Euro yen starting to go up nicely in lot sizing. And so far we've, and there we did have a loss. Look at that. So these losses do occur. And we need to be aware that it's not a perfect system, but uh, the losses are pretty small. In general, the uh, the gains are three pips. The losses in general are around about two. But with the accuracy level that we have here, we can afford losses of about six pips if we want to. So we've made a thousand dollars. We've almost made a thousand dollars. Oh, there we are. We've just gone to a thousand dollars. What I'm going to do is every a major milestone, I'm going to open it up, uh, uh, open up the recording, and we can look at it for about ten minutes or so. Then I'll close it up and open it up at the next milestone, and so on. Don't worry. Uh, this uh, the account will be available on FX Blue, so you can see the continuous um, results. Uh, you will be able to see all the results of all the trades in spite of not seeing the recording for the full uh, couple of hours. It's been an hour since we've last started and uh, we've had a slow start. The account has only go gone up by about 100% at this stage. Uh, it is an hour, so it's, it, it has been a, low, a slow start for our march to a million. But uh, let's have a, another look in, a, in an hour's time, see if the, the situation has improved. There have been, have been a few strong trends, which is uh, not always good for this uh, system. But uh, as you can see on the chart uh, here, that the equity is uh, well over 100% improvement within the first hour, and it is slowly looking better and better as time goes on. So we'll have a look at it in about two hours time. There have been a few uh, few things that I most probably haven't mentioned. The system trades without a stop, but uh, when I say that, it has a, a roaming stop. So in other words, uh, the stop roams around and, and sometimes it can be five pips, sometimes it can be two pips. It depends on the volatility of the actual market movement that that is occurring at the time. So uh, it does trade with a stop. Also, it tends to only open a maximum of two trades per currency. So it, it, it won't open more than two trades per currency. That's a, just a bit, a bit more information on the particular settings that, that are applied at the moment. And as, as I said earlier, it will increase the lot sizing quite dramatically as uh, the profitability improves. But it's good to see that we've, we've at least made a 100% return. Uh, let's move on to the next hour and see how that goes. As you can see, the time now is 4.10. The first transaction that was opened on the account was 3.13. So it's just under an hour that's passed. Let's have another look in an hour's time. Okay, now this is the second hour that uh, has been traded. So we've been trading for two hours. The first hour, we increased the balance from 5,000 to 10,000. There's been a dramatic increase in the second hour, all the way to 45,000. The time we started trading was 3.14, I think. And as you can see, it's just over two hours of trading. There's the, the one open transaction that's uh, uh, that's in place at the moment. And you can see our equity is up to 45,000 from 10,000. So it's been a really good uh, hour. And uh, we almost stay ahead of budget. I, I was hoping to create the middle uh, the million uh, in the next six to eight hours so uh, it's becoming very much a, pos a possibility there's not much more than I that I can tell you the as you know the the targets are generally of three pips so we've got a three pip target and we have a, a roaming stop which averages out in historically at about two or three pips it can go as high as five pips 
but the success rate is quite good. Let's have a look at the account, the trading account um, in the last while. Uh, as you can see, huge amounts of successes because the lot sizing has increased. The uh, the gains have been really good. So uh, we're now sitting with a forty thousand profit on a 5,000 investment. There have been a few losses, as you can see, here's a loss and here's one, uh, that's actually a break even transaction. Um, and there have been a few losses, but they are very quickly made up by the high level of profit uh, of success rate that exists with this particular. Uh, this particular price price feed is is quite a, a an active one you can see the price moves tremendously fast with it it also makes one minute candles of about three pips uh, at a time which is uh, very unusual and so normally you know if you compare it with some of the other price feeds you'll notice that it uh, the candles are a little bit smaller so this particular price feed is a highly sensitive one and uh, produces quite a lot of vol volatility um, you can see the price is just jumping all over the show not much happening at the moment oh, there are three uh, open transactions um, and the equity has gone down a little bit but let's what what we'll do is we'll uh, look at it again in an hour or so and um, and then see so so we've been trading two hours we've made roughly a thousand percent gain uh, we've got we've gone from um, having having an equity of five to an equity of 45 that's about an 800 percent gain so no, not doing too badly so far let's see how our march to a million goes a little bit later uh, when the closer we get to the million the more i'll leave the charts open for you to have a look how the trading progresses it is a bit difficult i will try and narrow the screen down for our next viewing so that you can see everything in a lot more detail it's difficult for me to fit everything onto the screen uh, and for you to see everything in detail uh, uh, with the current situation but i will move this try and remove the move the chart sizing down for more viewing so that you can see things in a lot more detail okay back again that's been another hour we've been trading for three hours now the first hour went from five thousand to ten thousand then we jumped from ten thousand to fifty thousand and the last jump has been from fifty thousand to hundred thousand so uh, that's the progress that's been made you can see it's a bit inconsistent it's a 100% uh, gain and then a 400% gain and then a, a um, another 100% gain but the gains have been good there have been quite strong drawdowns in this particular session if we look at the account you'll see there have been some uh, quick uh, some big stops uh, because of some really strong moves in the market I'm basically tra trading pretty random I haven't looked at announcements and things like that but there have been some strong movements that's caught the trading out a little bit equity is now at hundred thousand we we are, remember we're on the march to uh, a million it could happen in the next two hours if we have the same growth as we've had before uh, and I, I think the screen now displays a little bit clearer hopefully for you uh, to see and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it to run for two minutes and then I will pause the recording and come back uh, in about an hour's time but you can see we're making very good uh, progress to the million we've traded three hours we are almost there the the thing is that the lot sizing is now becoming quite astronomical uh, you, you can see in the short while that i've been talking a uh, ten thousand dollars has been added to the account in that very short while so i'm going to leave it for just another two minutes no talking we'll uh, then cut off and uh, come back in about 
uh, well, the rate of, at which increases are happening, we're going to get to the million in less than two, two hours. But uh, let's not count our chickens before they are hatched. Let's just let you watch the trading. The, uh, just a note uh, about the trading is that on the whole, uh, the buys happen at the bottom of the candles and the sells happen at the top of the candles. That's the way it's been designed. And uh, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you look at the success rate that we've experienced, uh, it certainly does work in the majority of cases. One of the things that I've also done is I've added this account to the FX Blue uh, uh, statement. Uh, I've called it Fast Million because that's where it's going. You can see an analysis of the uh, statements. You can see there the four, the, the, the four currencies that we're trading. You can see that the uh, profitability levels are, 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 or the success rate is quite high. I think the most important thing that I always find of interest is the average winning pip is only about three pips. See there? Average winning pips are three. The average losing pips are a little bit higher. But because of the high success rate, we can afford to have slightly higher Pip rates. Uh, by the way, we are trading on a one pip spread, so uh, it is standard for all currencies, a one pip spread. Trading, uh, the trading is still sitting at 109, uh, 110,000 equity. So uh, let's come back in a, in, in a short while. If, if it accelerates very quickly, I'll start the, uh, recording a little bit sooner, but it will most probably be in the next hour that I will continue this recording. Right, back again. Uh, we've now been trading for four hours. And the, and the increases from $5,000 have been... 10,000, uh, the balance went to 10,000 after one hour, then to 50,000 after two hours. After three hours, it went to 100,000. And now at the fourth hour, it has gone to 200,000. So the progress has been steady and uh, good. The lot sizing is, is going up uh, con uh, considerably, but we now can see the million coming closer and closer. On the screen, you can see uh, the transactions and the charts. And um, just looking at the history, we've made a clear 200,000 profit. Not much that can be said at this stage. As you, as I've pointed out previously, uh, this account has been linked to uh, FX Blue, and we can look at the stats closer to the time that hopefully we'll get to the 1 million mark uh, in the next uh, two to three hours if the same progression continues. There is quite a, a bit of a drawdown occurring at the moment. Uh, sometimes these entries do go the wrong way uh, and uh, they, it needs a bit of a fight back. But uh, the system seems to recover qu quite quickly from any drawdown. Co the success rate really covers any losses that are made very, very quickly. Currently, you can see two cells that are in trouble here. We've got, a, I think, a cell on the euro pound. There it is, the cell, and it's going the wrong way. Uh, it is building up quite a nice negative balance, but uh, uh, the s system will stop it out when it reaches the floating stop. Um, unfortunately, the charts don't show the floating stop. And the euro franc is in the same position. It's uh, it entered a, a sell. It is in in a buy mode at the moment, but it is seems to be floating back into the sell mode. So we'll just wait for those to um, resolve themselves. But uh, the equity is still well over two hundred thousand. And once these type of situations resolve themselves, either by being stopped out or uh, by recovering, they tend to move on to generate uh, 
successful deals that may, that make these drawdowns uh, disappear into the past very quickly. There we are. There was a, a stop out. I don't think. It, uh, I think it was still negative. Uh, yeah, it must have been that five. Uh, no, it wasn't this. Yes, the euro pound. That was a partial stop out. So uh, all th th that actually looks like a positive one. That's quite amazing that it was positive. Um, it just shows you. Okay, there we are. Uh, that make it, that's a lot clearer. So the so the euro pound seem to have a a sell and a buy happening at some. In, eventually, they cancel each other out. Uh, and that, that was effectively a break-even uh, situation that developed there. As mentioned earlier, there are normally two, uh, two uh, entries allowed per currency, no more than two, and that often happens where the two uh, cancel each other out in an almost hedge situation. Now, the, already you can see quite a big, big improvement from just the time that we've been chatting. Um, this is mo uh, the equity number has moved up quite considerably over the last minute or two that we've been chatting. The, it, it tends to move quite quickly when 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 the system starts going. It just keeps on going. It moves pretty well, pretty quickly. So as I say, we in our we are now in our fifth hour. In our march to a million and we are pretty much uh, ahead of uh, schedule I, I was anticipating a six to eight hour million dollar march but it, it looks like it could possibly happen a lot faster i might have been too aggressive with my lot sizing adjustments and that's why the results are improving faster than they should so i've, I've put in more aggressive settings than I had hoped. Okay, so we'll have a have a look at the situation again in about an hour's time. Or there are no open deals. It's sitting at uh, uh, equity of two two two. Time at the moment. The last deal was at seventeen thirty one. So so in a, in an hour's time we'll have another look at the progress that's taken place. We can then hopefully guide this the trading into a one million dollar result. Okay, so this is the next uh, checkup, the hourly checkup. I think we have been going for five hours now, but progress has slowed down quite considerably with the gains and the main reason is that we've hit the broker's maximum lot number if you look at the closed deals the most recent closed deals and you can see they're all nice nicely positive there uh, the lot sizing is no longer allowed to increase by the broker so uh, that's why we made pretty good progress in the beginning but it is slowing down considerably now because we have that limitation so that means we must probably if things go well that we would be limited to gains of about hundred thousand an hour which means uh, it's going to take slightly longer to uh, reach our million goal but uh, we'll continue our hourly checkups uh, on on that basis to see how um, the progress goes but there we are we're sitting at almost 300,000 we've got still 700,000 to go before we can get to our million hopefully we can get there uh, in the next couple of hours so I'll log in again in about an hour's time and f check the progress at that particular point we're at the next hourly checkup and you'll see that there's been very little progress made in this hour. There's been a gain of about $30,000 and that's mainly been because of trading through the US Open, a very volatile time and most probably not the best time to have used this particular EA. 
But um, as I say, I'm trading it uh, on a set and forget basis, actually. And uh, we've just traded through the open of the US market with a couple of announcements behind it. And it, 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 it has certainly impacted the profitability of the EA by having by trading through highly volatile times. In spite of that, it has been nicely positive, and uh, we'll just go on and have a look at the next hour to see the progress that will be made. Trading seems to be progressing quite well, um, and a lot of wins, only one loss in the last couple of trades. So after the open of the US market, things uh, seems to seem to have settled down, and let's see if the next hour brings some improved profitability. Okay, we're at the next hourly checkup, and uh, progress has been good. We're almost back to a hundred thousand per hour. Uh, the um, gains have been pretty good since the last checkup, uh, almost an 80 eighty thousand gain um i think the market's settling down now and cashing in as per normal uh, so um we should be getting past the halfway mark in the next hour
back again and all I can say is oops um, my sincere apologies uh, the EA was basically making 60,000 an hour and I thought it was safe to uh, go and catch a bit of shut eye and uh, I've just come back to the trading and as you can see it's uh, it's gone to 1.6 million um, apologies for for letting that slip and I'll obviously have to redo this uh, clearly what it's doing it's buying buying on the low of the candle and selling on the high of the candle the sideways nature of the market that exists at the moment which is between the US market and the Asian market is clearly quite a good market to trade using this price feed because this this is what's happening and that's why I got this unexpected gain so so let's have a look at what actually happened uh, and thank goodness I I've got a, a FX blue to to, to look at and uh, that's what we'll do next I'm going to open FX blue and um, The first thing that you see is uh, obviously there's the uh, there's the result that we've got. Um, uh, we we we're seeing that there's an overall uh, success rate of about 73%, um, and we've just taken 5,000 to 1.6 million. And if we have a look at the analysis, uh, we'll see that all the the currencies were positive over that period the CAD is a late entry um, it's an experimental one the other three are more tested currencies and you can also see it in the results the uh, results are pretty good for those three the CAD uh, result is nicely positive but not that great um, the uh, euro pound has a very nice profit factor um, and is the most successful one out of the four so we've learnt a bit, a bit about that now where the real benefit will come is if we start looking at the stats and uh, gosh I can't believe this has happened um, alright so what we can do is we can look at the hour okay that's that's good alright so here's exactly what's happened uh, since we started trading in the first hour as as you can remember uh, we made five thousand dollars then in the second hour fifteen thousand now the, uh, my cutoff points obviously weren't that good in uh, the times that I looked at it but in the second hour it says fifteen thousand then in the third hour it uh, went up to seventy three thousand fourth hour ninety six thousand and then fifty three and then and this is more or less where I decided that it might be a good idea to start um, taking and getting a bit of shut eye because the um, progress was pretty slow. Then suddenly it, it started to explode and produced uh, quite amazing uh, results. 300,000 in, in that hour, uh, another th almost 300,000 in, in that hour. And uh, this one is still running. Now... Um, and, and the reason really I think is that this uh, firstly the lot sizing was pretty s pretty small in the beginning so that we can't really go by that lot sizing it was still building up in an account but at a certain point it reached a point where it was using the maximum lots that this broker would allow so from that point on and I would say it's a from a, from about that level we were we were trading the same number of lots for every trade so what this says is that uh, firstly the quieter times the the u.s uh, afternoon and um, the the close of the u.s market uh, are the times to trade this ea because the market is going sideways and the price feed still uh, produces quite en enough volatility to to generate tradable trades for this EA 
So that's the, that's where the interesting part comes in. Um, and I'm, I, I'm actually tempted to just let it run for another couple of hours so that we can get uh, statistics on this and and I will I will actually uh, do that I'll just let it run and see now uh, I'm uh, you know I must confess I've only traded this EA for the third time and every time I've traded it has been a complete success and that's why I've had the confidence to make this video so let's have a look at what other information we can squeeze out of this um, analysis and let's go to the analysis okay so we've determined that the euro pound this must probably the, been the most efficient uh, currency to trade uh, the, the euro yen has been the most profitable one to trade and the cad is um, is profitable but most probably the the least attractive currency under this in this bunch so let's take and have a look at the uh, Okay, so uh, the statistics have actually uh, calmed down a little bit um, s since the previous time we looked at these statistics. Um, now we have an average win of 2.7 uh, overall. For, for, for these four, we have an average win of 2.7 pips. Um, and that's the scalping nature of this. Remember, there's a one pip spread, so uh, the broker has earned a, a one one pip of all of these transactions and um, that is the net win then the average loss is on average 1.9 so this 1.9 pips have been paid as the average loss and you can see um, uh, again with the Canadian it's had a much higher average loss than the others so clearly those other uh, currencies are the better ones to trade but they uh, and and in fact there's a, a loss there but it's uh, because of the success rate of the canadian it, it it has been profitable but the others actually have a gain over their uh, losses there's a one pip gain there there's a only half a pip gain there and there's a half a pip gain there so really quite um, interesting statistics but uh, uh, being a, a scalping uh, approach that we're using at the moment, uh, these statistics are critical because uh, uh, the slightest movement here will uh, change these statistics uh, completely. And uh, if you're relying on half a pip uh, type of statistics, um, it is quite important that everything runs absolutely perfectly to make a profit. So we have literally made 1.6 million on a differential of only half a pip for some of the currencies and a one pip for the other one. Um, and it just shows you what lot sizing and a, a good success rate can do. We did look at the success rates. There they are. And, and um, the euro franc poor success rate compared to its other trading partners okay so that that's quite a um, an early morning shock for me i must apologize for that i've messed this presentation up a little bit but um i most probably will redo it uh, and uh, i think what would be good if if i do redo it um if you could send any questions comments remarks for this particular video so that i can incorporate uh, those comments questions and remarks in my next video when I do something similar now when you look at the statistics on FX blue you can actually download the statement so uh, you click here and you can actually download the statement you can also see all the orders that have been placed these are the open ones running at the moment but uh, if you click here you can also see all the closed ones so there's a record of all the closed deals that have taken place the, the first deal as we know started at 314 and the last deal that we're looking at right now the time now most probably is 1627 so in the space of 12 or 13 hours um, this EA produced 1.6 million I hope you found this interesting um, please go to part 3 of this uh, video 
it um, will contain quite a lot of additional information and uh, also we want to progress this uh, exercise a little bit further. Oh, that was pretty exciting. But before you all rush off to buy yachts on the Mediterranean, I think there's a couple of things that you need to know. This EA is a pretty sound EA. It uses sound trading principles. It has small losses compared to its target in all time frames. So it's pretty robust and the trading principles are sound. But here's the disclaimer. Very important that you listen to this. Sorry to disappoint you, but the results shown have been produced on a demo account using paper money. Now, there are many reasons for this, and let's go through them. Finding a broker where the real account or the live account mirrors the demo account is an almost impossible task. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. So there's very little chance of this happening and I don't want to mislead you in any way in that respect. The scalping aspect of this EA may not work on a live account. Hey, hey. One has to use extraordinary means to find a broker that meet the, meets the requirements of this particular EA for scalping purposes. The name of the broker used in this exercise can be found on the list of brokers that FX Blue tracks on their tracking system. Unfortunately, I cannot disclose the name of this, this particular broker. The other aspect is that producing a million in a couple of hours cannot be done on a practical basis. No matter what is stated, you are essentially trading against the broker in many cases. And when the broker notices this kind of activity, there will be some technical reason why things won't progress. So the way to do this is to open a, a number of accounts and use them on a number of brokers and trade them in a very conservative way and withdrawing the money on a consistent basis so that your risk to the broker it's to the broker is reduced considerably it would be crazy to have a million dollars in one broker account there are also technical reasons like brokers have maximum lot sizes that don't apply on, on demo accounts which allowed us to push the gains up to a million but making one million gains is certainly possible but it has to be managed and by using many brokers many accounts and doing it in a much slower way than I did. Now, the true magic behind forex trading is the leverage. You can get a leverage as high as a thousand to one in the States only 50 to one but that leverage even at 50 to one allows you to create a, amazing gains. The other magic behind this system is obviously the EA which is incredibly efficient at finding turning points in the market. And I hope you found it interesting, thought-provoking. If you've liked this video, please share it with your friends on social media or send them the link of the video. Also, join my channel for more of these type of videos. Please remember to join our mailing list for more information about this great EA. So for me, Alex Aploy, I hope you've had fun. Cheerio.